A credit card crackdown against the companies who go after your kids away at college. How effective is it? Call for Action's Keith King is here now with more on a study that raises some serious questions. Keith? Mark and Krista, good evening. We are talking about the Credit Card Act of 2009. Congress passed it to protect you, the consumer, against excessive late fees and prevent college-age kids from going deep into debt. The law restricts the credit card companies when it comes to marketing to college students. For example, companies can't offer a card to anyone under 21 without a co-signer like a parent. A University of Houston assistant law professor did a study and found that the act has little effect on aggressive marketing to college students. Jim Hawkins surveyed 500 students and studied 300 credit card agreements. 68% of the students surveyed got an offer in the mail. And 40% said that they saw credit card companies give gifts. Most troubling, Hawkins says, students still qualify without showing a way to repay. Today, I talked with UMKC students who say restrictions are a good idea to keep kids their age from making big financial mistakes. I know I haven't had experience with money, so having a credit card, I'm not, I'm not responsible enough for it yet, and I doubt many college students are either, and I think credit card companies know that, so they want to sucker them into signing up for something with a high interest rate. They just sent me uh, something in the mail saying, oh, you can get a Discover card, and they had the credit card in there, and my parents would like shred it. So that's what I did. Mom and dad said no right away. Yeah, they said no. I find it kind of irritating, actually. I mean, obviously, uh, college students are already pretty broke, and so they're kind of taking advantage of that position um, in order to capitalize for their own interests. Jim Hawkins says, quote, my study found that 27% of students under 21 who were applying by themselves for credit cards listed loans as part of their income to qualify for the card. As for the previously secret agreements between the credit card companies and colleges, the CARD Act requires those be made public. Hawkins says that disclosure does not change the number of these agreements or their terms. There are some signs of progress. The number of students reporting receiving credit card offers has actually gone down from 2010 to 2011. The study will be published in the Washington and Lee Law Review. That's later this fall. For Call for Action, I'm Keith King.